What is going on guys? It is Aldo here at Zero to Mastery and today we are tackling how to optimize our LinkedIn profile to impress recruiters and to give ourselves the best chances of landing on that LinkedIn algorithm. For those that don't know, LinkedIn is what I like to call a professional social media. It's a place where you can connect with others, apply for jobs, you can connect with recruiters, recruiters can connect with you, it all really boils down to a spot where you can advance your career. It is very important to have the most optimized LinkedIn profile you can have, because if you have a pretty bad LinkedIn profile, most of the time people just won't pay you any mind, no matter your experience. So let's go ahead, let's get into it, because I know you guys don't want to hear me ramble on for 10 to 15 minutes explaining what LinkedIn is. I'm going to walk you through all the steps that you need to take to make your LinkedIn profile all star ready. Enough talking from me, let's get into it. Alrighty, let's get into it. By the way, I switched rooms just because the dogs were being a little bit loud, so hopefully you don't hear that anymore. Um, but let's start. So you're going to look up LinkedIn.com, and once you get here, you're going to click on the Join Now button. And we're going to put in our email and then password. And by the way, this side, my left side is not my greatest angle, so no judgments in the comment section. Uh, and then agree and join. And then first name and last name. It looks like they're going to have us do a security check, so we're just going to verify. And is that a bull or a cow? We're going to click on the upright. It's this one here. And following that... We are okay. They're giving away my location. So now you guys know exactly where I'm at. Won't be here much longer, but just hit next on that. Uh, and then our most recent job title. So I'm going to go put software engineer and I'm going to put full time and I'll select zero to mastery. I'm not a software engineer here at zero to mastery. I'm part of the creative team, but for this presentation, I am. Don't tell my boss. Hit continue. And then just give me one second. It looks like they're asking for a code. So I'll be right back. Following that, you'll see this screen and I'll put yes. I'm not looking for a new job, but I'll put yes. Um, add, you can skip this screen. We don't need to do this now. You can do this eventually. Uh, and then our connections. We will wait on this because later on I'll be talking about that just a bit more. So skip for now. And now we get into creating the actual fun stuff. So let's create an image. For this, you're going to go to a new tab and we're going to look up Canva. So let's do that. Canva. And once you're here, you're going to go to the top right hand corner where it says create a design and you're going to look for LinkedIn profile picture. You should see a template just like this. Now, for me, I am going to look up a headshot. Uh, because I don't have one of myself. Uh, ideally, you guys want a headshot that's shoulders and ups or just the head. Um, you want something like from here up and it just looks more professional if you're smiling or nothing, you know, nothing in the background, just kind of something simple. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to show you how we can cut out the background anyway. So, I'll, OK, this one isn't working. Give me one second here. I got to find the right image. I'm looking for an HD one. Also, when you guys take your pictures, if you are taking another picture for your LinkedIn, make sure to get the best quality possible. Try to get, um, try to wear something nice, I would say, at least a shirt or, you know, something that you like. Um, okay, this one works. Perfect. And then we're going to download this here. Once you have your image selected, you're going to upload it to Canva. I'll, up I'll upload mine. And once you have uploaded your image, you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to type in remove background. Um, this is just a free service where you get to remove a background from an image. Uh, so we're going to click on this one here and you're going to upload the image of yourself or the image that you have. And then you're going to it's, it's very simple to use. It's going to say download. Now you want to download the HD one and you get one free HD download. So you have to sign up, but it's free. Uh, you can use your Facebook or Google. I'll use my Google. Um, and you want an HD one just so it looks crispy and nice and clean. Um, sign up. Okay, we have an error. 
Oh, I forgot to agree to the term. Sign up. And then download. Yeah, so you see, you see that one credit there. That one credit will allow you to have one free HD download, which is ideal. Now, once you have that, we're all set. You can just go back to the Canva, and we're going to upload that backgroundless image, the HD crispy quality image that we just received. Uh, oh, I forgot to put it down here. Okay. And now upload. Open. And it's loading. Now, this part is just up to you. You just want to resize it to where you think it's a good proportion for the box itself. Um, so I'll play around with this a little bit and see what works. I just noticed on this image, the um, his head is a little cropped, unfortunately. But hopefully on yours, it's not. Following that, let's look for a gradient uh, and we're going to pick this one and we're going to send backward and this is just going to put it as the back or actually let's apply this to hold on. Did this wrong, messing it up. Uh, set images background. Here it is. And then we're going to center him well. And now we have a nice gradient on there. I'm not a fan of the color though, so I think I'm going to look for another one, but I got to figure out this sizing. So we'll go ahead and delete that and let's see. I like this one. What I recommend is using like a blue or a nice white background, something very clear, not too, not too crazy. Um, and then we're just going to download this. And now pretty much we have our, our profile picture. So while, now it's all set. We just, I just got to put it on my desktop and then we're going to go back to our LinkedIn here. Where'd it go here? And Add the image. And now on LinkedIn, you do get to make some adjustments. So if you want to zoom in or straighten the image out, if it was a little tilted or something like that, then you can do that here at this point. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I kind of have that perfectionist mindset, so I can be doing this like for a couple hours. Trying to figure out what the lines, where the lines should go. We'll just save this picture. And look, that looks pretty good in my opinion. And then we're going to continue. Um, get the app or stay ahead. Okay, we can just skip this. I think, um, yeah, we'll skip it. All right. And we can finish here. We are done with that. All right. So now go on the top right hand corner and go to view profile. Once you're there, this is your LinkedIn profile. The next thing we want to do is get a banner. So this is the last artsy thing we have to do. We're going to go back to Canva and look up LinkedIn banner. The 1584 is the one that you guys want to go with. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of different templates. Now, some of these are pro templates, so you have to be a member of Canva, but you can find good free ones um, that they offer as well. Now, if you want to pay for the pro, you can. Um, they have some really cool stuff. I'll pick this one, and I'm just going to adjust my name. And we will put software engineer. Download and download. Beautiful. And it looks like we are all set here. So I just picked one that looks kind of tech savvy. You guys can pick whatever you would like. I wouldn't pick something too crazy. Something minimalistic is always pretty sound. Um, but that looks professional, you know. And we are going to upload our image here. Uh-huh. And you can do the same thing here. You can straighten it. You can zoom. And again, I'm going to spend way too much time doing this because I just have a problem. I don't know what other way to say it, but apply because I'm not trying to spend all day here. 
Uh, all right. So now, now we have our profile picture and our banner, and they look crispy. They look so good. But now we're going to address our title. So here, you want your title to be your position. So you want your title. Let's say if you're a software engineer, you want it to say software engineer at the current company that you're at. If you're not working and you're looking for a job, just put software engineer. Uh, you can put a nice little quirky line like professional dog lover or something along those lines. Professional dog walker. Um, we'll go with that. And yeah, so all I would say is keep it to two sentences max. Um, definitely put your title as in like your what you do and what you're looking to get hired for. And then you can put something quirky or you can put something, a skill related to your title. So as a software engineer, maybe you can put Excel in making um, very efficient web applications or something like that. That's a very terrible thing to put. I didn't really think about that, but you guys can think about it and put like a one liner in there. And now here we are going to add our education, our education, and I'll put Zero to Mastery Academy put software, go computer software engineering, and then I will make some dates up. Now for your education, obviously be truthful. If you went to a certain school or even if you didn't graduate, you know, you could still put that in there and um, just be honest about where you went to school and what you did. I really wouldn't put my GPA or anything in the description unless it was like over a three, four, then I would, cause that can, that can, it looks good. But if you have like a, like a two, five or a two, eight, I mean, I would probably wouldn't put it on there, but I don't judge. I'm, I got, I think in high school I had like a two, eight, so I'm in the same boat. Um, and then, okay, I put this in the wrong section, but we put this in the description, this, uh, little, um, segment that I put here, the completed several courses in front end development, um, for example, react Python and so on. So this just a description of what you learned at the educational institution you were at. And by the way, uh, you can definitely use zero to mastery because we are an educational platform on LinkedIn. Um, but if you went to, you know, a university, put that in as well. There's no limits on to the amount of educational, um, I guess, experience that you have. So you can put as many as you want. And now this is another very important step, guys. So another thing you really want to do is customize your LinkedIn URL. A lot of people don't do this and it's so simple to do. So you're going to click on this and you're going to go here to the top right where you see edit your custom URL. And that little last part you can change. I would recommend just putting your name. Don't put something crazy, but your name in your last name and that's good um if it's taken then you can add something else to differentiate it but don't go put in pixie world 23 or the online game or something it's you have to keep it professional on linkedin so the name is always the best way and once you look it up it brings you right to it so just with changing that and saving it you're all set now you have a custom uh url for your linkedin profile all right, let me close all of these tabs. I have like a hundred open. All right, and you can add your pronouns if you would like. Um, where is that at? Give me one sec. Okay, it can only be added using your mobile app. So if you want to do that, download the mobile uh, LinkedIn app and you can adjust it from there. Edit contact info. So you guys can choose what you want to display on LinkedIn. Some people like to show their phone number. Some people don't like to have it on there. Some people like their resume on there. Some people don't. Um, that's really up to you. My recommendation is do what makes you feel comfortable. And if you don't want to show something, you can always put something like at request. I can show resume or something like that. And then you have our links here. We, I'm going to add my GitHub and... You can put your portfolio on there. You can put your GitHub on there, um, your GitLab, whatever you have. Definitely put your portfolio if you can, because that, that's a quick way for a recruiter to just click on your profile and see your work just with one click to your portfolio. Um, so I highly recommend that. And I think a GitHub is a good idea to have on there as well. And then we're going to save. 
Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And it's coming together. Look at this, guys. So we have our title. We have our banner profile picture. And now we're going to add our skills. Um, so here you want to have five skills at least. Uh, the important thing here, though, is that you need a endorsement, at least one endorsement for every skill you add. I'll add a few now. But um, so this is why it's important to connect and try to talk to people on LinkedIn so they can endorse your skills and they actually hold some weight. Without at least one endorsement, there's it's really not relevant because I guess there's no backing to it. So connecting is very important. Um, but on your skills, don't lie because someone can look look up your profile and then, you know, I guess start the process with you for the hiring process. And if they find out that you don't know any of the skills you put on your profile, then it doesn't look good. We will add a few more and you can put if you learn them in your educational or your work experience, either or. And now we have our skills in. So let's see what else we got. You can add the about section. This is another very important section, education, position, skills. Um, you can add certificates in the recommended. There's a whole bunch of things you can add. Now with the about section, guys, the very important thing with this is you want to look up jobs that you're looking or thinking about applying for. So for example, I will look up software engineer and then just look up postings for this and you'll see why we're going to do this. So click, let me click on this one. This is a cool logo. And what you want to do is in the description for the position, you want to read it and, and, and grab the, the most common words and try to put those into your bio because what that's going to do or you're about your bio is that it those are keywords that are going to trigger um, and it's going to help you land on that algorithm. There is a service here, Word Clouds, and you can literally just copy and paste um, the entire bio or description pasted in here and it'll give you the most populated words. So if you see all of these are the word, these are the words that were used the most. And obviously, there's a lot of words you probably might not be able to use in your bio or about. Don't make it cheesy. But if you can add a couple of these words, it'll help you rank better for that algorithm that LinkedIn uses. I'll try to find an example. Oh, I like Apple here. So let's copy and paste this whole Apple Apple description. I can't speak today. Um, copy and paste this. And we're going to copy it into the word cloud generator. I need to delete all of this and generate cloud. All right. And then it gives us all the words that we can use or the, or the words that are most popular in that posting. So we can start looking for a word that maybe we can use in our bio slash about and really help us rank better. The more the merrier, but again, don't make it cheesy. And the last thing we want to do is connect. So you want to try to connect, connect, connect with as many people as possible, but try to make it methodical. And what I mean by that is if you went to school somewhere or if you worked somewhere, then try to connect with people that have gone to the same school or have done or worked at the same place because it kind of gives you a, a basing between you two. If you're trying to connect with someone that you've never ever interacted with or have nothing to do with, it's a little odd and most people won't accept those connects, but make sure to connect guys. It is extremely important. Uh, span, expand that network and everything will go just fine. And that is all to it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see more videos like this, where we can directly increase those chances of you getting hired, then smash that like button and drop a comment down below. But that's enough talking for me for today. And until next time.